Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome out to some more exciting Xeonic Front action here on Kevin Plays a Mech Game. I'm Kevin, and I think... I know I said this last time, I think we finally get to attack California base. So that should be fun. Shock troops. Oh, you can see the chunk missing from Australia on that map. That's... a thing. Kind of a terrifying thing, but also still a thing. Okay. Mission briefing. We discovered a passage during our last battle. Further analysis indicate that it leads to the underground facilities of California base. Judging from its condition, we're presuming that the facilities are built within an existing cave. We've confirmed that there is no water at our entry point. We should have no difficulty entering the passage in our mobile suits. Given the fact that this was a water vein, there's a very good chance that the facilities are an underground dock. In any case, who would have guessed there'd be a cave located here? Mother Earth is full of surprises. Our objective is to enter the enemy facilities through the underground passage and capture all important facilities and any of the submarines. We have the technology to build submarines, but unfortunately we lack the manufacturing plants to construct them in the space colonies. And the ability to bring them from space to here? Gaining control of their shipyard and any submarines is crucial if we are to successfully advance through our missions and secure our place on Earth. Yeah, you can see that's one of the... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, uh, Jinkong class submarines they use later in the series. And then later they build the uh, Mad Angler uh, submarines as well. We will coordinate our movement with the units above ground and sneak into the underground facilities. Our mission will be to eliminate all obstacles while securing the location and any underwater craft intact. Under no circumstances should damage be allowed to occur to the facilities or submarines. You may, however, destroy the power plant and command center. According to our information, should be here. Destroying the power plant may temporarily disable most functions of the enemy base. Ooh, we should do that. Their defense troops rely on the command center. Destroying it will give us an opportunity to secure the dock. Also, some Zakus and a pilot, Ensign Nikki Roberto, have been dispatched. They will join us for this operation. Over. Yay, more mobile suits. Sweet. Destroy the enemy command center to take over the underground submarine dock. Default routes do not lead you all the way to the command center. Set your own team's routes and operational points so that each team can reach the command center. Ah, they do a good job of going through the tutorial of this. We actually have two people. That was the, uh, the woman who was... Whoa, can we only take two? She was the operations officer. She takes stuff? Oh, she gets all kinds of tasty treats. Block somewhere. Ah, cool. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we want to take her or not. Oh, hey. Oh, he's got a shield now, too. Cool. I want boost. Let's take a night scope. Why not? Ah, and a smoke grenade. Interesting. Okay. I don't really know what I mean, if we should be taking any of this, but we're going to take what we can take. And I guess we can only take uh, two, two mobile suit teams, which kind of sucks. It would have been nice to have taken a third. So, root setup. Okay. Alright. So, we need... This interface is not great. That's okay. Let's 
So it ends. Let's see. Uh, okay, here we go. Hmm. I mean, it said it didn't lead all the way there, but it seems like it does. So we're just gonna go with it anyway. Information. Let's see. Submarine docks. Federation submarine. Good. Command center. Looks impressive. Generators. Looks very. Generate y. Extra MS. Okay. Ooh, stuff about this guy. Apparently he's a bit of a rookie. With a very weird haircut. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if there's any advice. Now then, let's assume our so-called headquarters has done its homework. If we are to achieve quick results, let's break into teams with distinct objectives. We'll move simultaneously, but separately. Major reason for this strategy is the confined environment which may limit the movement of our mobile suits. Bunching up would further decrease our maneuverability, making us easy targets for the enemy. Although, if we did stay together, it would increase our firepower. The other reason is that we have a short time limit with this mission, since it's vital that we secure the core facilities intact. Matt and I will go as a team to the interior. Nikki should secure the entry point, at least that would be my plan. Huh? If worse comes to worst, the entry point will also be our escape route. We're trusting a snotty-nosed kid like you with our lives. Guard the entrance as best you can. Oh, and your job for this mission is to survive. Try not to forget that. Yeah, I know. So basically, I think they said, One don't take that guy. One used to confuse the enemy is to destroy their power plant, although it might only be a temporary measure. Confusing the enemy will be very important for us, and will also indirectly assist our allied units above ground. Let's do it! Hey, it's great you have so much enthusiasm and energy, but try not to overdo it. Remember, you don't have to be a hero. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Reporting, I'm Ensign Nikki Roberto, and I've been transferred to join the Midnight Fenrir. I'd like you all to know I'm honored to be a member of this unit. Oh, brother. The higher-ups should know better than to send us a bunch of amateurs. Since when did we turn into a kindergarten? Don't be so hard on them. They say Zeon does lack soldiers. Lieutenant, you're becoming more blunt yourself lately, aren't you? You can't blame me since you're such a good teacher. Listen, Nikki, just be careful not to pick up any of his bad habits. Listen, kid. Don't try to earn your stripes too quickly. You're a kid, not a hero. Hmm. Just concentrate on surviving. Right now, that's all you need to do. Yes, sir. This is so totally wrong! Why would you put someone like him in charge of a team? Ensign Nikki doesn't have enough experience as an officer. I've had more experience in actual battle. Is it because I'm a woman? No. <clears throat> it's because your voice changes when you talk. Someone who's actually proven they have the right stuff should be appointed leader. No, I'd make you a team leader, why not? Uh, there are no men and women when it comes to the battlefield. The way I see it, you and Nikki are both a couple of kids. We've still got lots to do. Besides, the operator's job is very important. Well, that's true, but... But you still haven't convinced me it's for the best. You gotta give me a chance. Please include me in the sortie. I'll prove to you what I just said. Man, oh man, what a pain in the neck. It's good to know that the Xeon aren't sexist. Zig Xeon! I have an update on the Zaku's forwarded to us from the airbase. They're good as new. Well, not quite, but they're in great condition. Those guys seem to have taken really good care of them, so all we had to do were some minor adjustments. Looks like the Federation has some skilled mechanics of their own. Yes, it's obvious the Federation stole those Zaku's from Xeon. Interesting. Are we sure we can't take... Another team? There has to be a way. Is this not a thing? Hmm. I guess not. That's unfortunate. Alright, whatever, let's just get to it.
Okay. Zigzion. Zigzion. I don't know. I like this game. It's weird and awesome. Commander, our allied troops have started attacking. All right. All teams, begin your advance. I repeat. Nope. I guess I pushed a button there. The inside of the cave has no shelter and is pretty cramped. Be extra careful. Okay. Thanks. Enemy is approaching the dock. What's the status of the anchored submarines? Sir, they've been repaired and crew members remain on board awaiting orders. Roger. We'll abandon this block. Inform all units to keep the enemy at bay, no matter what, until they receive further orders. Alert the submarine crew. They're to prepare for sail. Open gates! Commander, we have a problem. The enemy is about to open the gates. Can't we stop them? Not from here we can. No, only from the command center, sir. How much time before the gates open? I'd say it is about five minutes from the time the gates open to the time the submarine launches. Did you hear that, everyone? Take over the dock within five minutes. Prevent the submarine from Whoa. leaving. Roger. Oh man, did not see that coming. I mean, I guess I kind of did. Whatever. Hey, that looks like a generator to me. Nice. Destruction of power plant confirmed. Enemy facilities have been weakened. Arrived at the operation point. Enemy located. Oh, got these guys in the middle of a fight. These guys didn't miss any uh, power plants or anything. Oh, Type 61 tanks. How dare! Take over of materials storage confirmed. I guess destroying the power plant. Um, Enemy located. Also, decrease the timer. That's cool. Sweet. Check back in on our Zaku 1 buddies. Looks like we're getting close. Oh, more tanks. Whoa! I like the Zaku Bazooka because it's powerful, but the reload time is pretty killer. Yeah, get some! This looks important to destroy. Takeover of munition storage confirmed. Nice. Alright, all that's left now is the dock. Hurry. Roger. Oh no, one of our Zaku's got destroyed. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we're almost to the dock. There's a submarine. That's cool. Now, where... Huh. To find the, uh... There we go! I didn't actually know that I was targeting that, but it's good. Good that I did. That's fast! Our forces have seized this block. I advise you to surrender. I understand. We've taken over the dock. 
Commander, there's a message from the ground troops. The surface and the underground core section have also been taken over. Mission complete. Post guards until further notice. Over. Woohoo! Zeke! Zeon! Zeke! Zeon! Yeah! No one's gonna stop us from taking over the entire solar system. Unless a little boy, Our surprise attack a young man, gets inside of a successful. Gundam. We've captured the Federation Forces submarine, and we've also managed to secure the dock with very little damage. The submarines and top secret documents are under analysis. We'll be able to build our own underwater craft before too long. We've also collected sufficient data on our unit's performance within an enemy base, especially in a very confined space. Our own main forces have finally realized the tactical significance of our unit. I wonder if that'll come in useful again. Maybe? Wink! No, I'm sure they'll use us to attack Jaburo. That's just a given. Ah, oh, yeah! A! That seems pretty good. Excellent. We have captured California Base, the largest in North America and the most vital strategic point. While remaining areas are secured, we will advance to Jaburo, the Federation's South American base. Its exact location, however, is still unknown. Our forces landed all around the Earth and took over numerous territories at lightning speed. However, we had expanded the battle line so quickly we were unable to send enough supplies to all those front lines and failed to advance our forces any further. The Federation forces were unable to put up any kind of organized resistance as we had inflicted considerable damage. Still, we had to guard against any guerrilla warfare on our undermanned battle lines. With neither side able to deal a decisive blow to defeat the other, the war remained at a stalemate. Meanwhile, the Federation forces were developing mobile suits of their own that would rival ours. During a hey, guerrilla sweep cannon. operation, Commander Shah received news of the V project. He challenged a new type of mobile suit and battleship, the White One and the Trojan Horse. The Trojan Horse evaded Commander Shah's pursuit and descended into the North American territory. Uh oh. However, the enemy was unaware that Commander Shar had strategically forced them into an area currently under the control of Captain Garma Zabi. The enemy survived repeated attacks led by Captain Garma and attempted to escape. I'm sure you've been informed about the V project discovered by Commander Shar. And you're aware that the top secret Trojan horse has not only managed to endure Commander Shar's relentless attacks, but has also eluded our own efforts to capture it. According to reports, they're presently hiding at the S3 point. We must commence an immediate sweep of this area to prevent them from advancing any further and escaping our territory. I will therefore head a mobile squadron and crush the Trojan horse! Yeah, that's gonna work really, really well for you, Garma. Rear Admiral Cassilia might not have sent me your unit for such operations as this, but I absolutely must sink the Trojan Horse under my own command. I expect your full cooperation in this matter. Uh oh, I I, I don't want to fight the Gundam. <laughs> Gundam's Gundam's uh, terrifying. Supplies delivered. New mobile suits assigned. Simulator program has been updated. Great. Well, that does it for Mission 3 of uh, Zeonic Front, so thanks for watching, and I hope we'll see you again next time.